Hey everyone, I'm Trevor and you're watching SoCal Disney Dads. Today we are at the Galactic Grill. It is in Tomorrowland in Disneyland, California. And it's been a while since I have eaten here. In fact, uh, they usually just have kind of average food here, but we noticed a specialty item on the menu, had to come check it out. Uh, it's not super duper exciting. I mean, it's just this basically food on the wall here that you see behind me. Uh, mobile order, I think you could probably not mobile order. It looks like there's a line over at the far end that you can just walk up to, but um, yeah, we're here at Galactic Grill. We're going to check it out for you. So join in this adventure with us and let's get going. While we're waiting for our item to be ready, here is a look at the menu. Specialty burger, which is Hawaiian-inspired roasted pineapple citrus teriyaki glaze. We've got a fried chicken sandwich, cheeseburger, chopped salad, veggie wrap. They do have a galactic parfait, which sounded interesting. Uh, but then on the kids' meals, they've got a hamburger, macaroni and cheese, power pack, toddler meal, and a yummy, cheesy macaroni. Uh, so that's, uh, oh, they've got a watermelon slush too. That sounds interesting. Not that I'm really big into watermelon. This right here is like a Kylo Ren specialty thing that you can order. Um, I think it's like a sipper. And so it's kind of expensive. It's like $19 if I remember right, but um, it looks kind of cool. You like Star Wars because it's a galactic grill, so they have um, like Kylo Ren's uh, TIE Fighter. Pretty interesting. So it looks like our burger comes wrapped instead of, you know, being presented nicely on a plate which I'm kind of disappointed by because I feel like, you know, this never looks as nice and it's like that. We ordered, um, well, fries come with the burger and we ordered a side of fries as well, um, but we'll open this up and show it to you. All right, well, here is what it looks like once you take the, the topping off here. You can see some bits of pineapple there and uh, the patty underneath. There is no cheese on this by the looks of it, um, but we're gonna give it a try. Hawaiian burger. I'm trying to figure out how to pick this thing up. Not bad, actually. Not bad? No, it's different because it's it's sweet. Like the whole burger is sweet. It's almost like not savory at all. It has a teriyaki glaze on it, it too. It has teriyaki and then it has pineapple. So like you're getting a lot of pineapple flavor. Um, but yeah, it's good. So. We'll see for me because Honestly, I really like cheese on my burgers. I'm like, I prefer more cheese than burger. <laughs> I love cheese. So without cheese, I'm not sure. Mm. It's just okay for me. I'm gonna have one more bite. Maybe get some more juice. I mean, I don't love it, but I don't hate it. That second bite was a little better because I got some more pineapple, but I really do prefer cheese on my burgers and I, I can definitely tell it's a hamburger more so than a cheeseburger. I don't know. The double cheeseburger at Hungry Bear probably would have been more exciting for me. Take it from my opinion for what it is. If you like hamburgers rather than cheeseburgers and you like pineapple, you're probably really gonna really like this. I keep tripping pineapple, but... Um, but if you are absolutely like, oh, I can't stand hamburgers, I have to have cheese on my burger, then you might want to consider getting a cheeseburger. As with our meal at lunchtime, where we ate at Rancho Del Zicalo, we just brought um, peanut butter and jelly and some bread to make a kids a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And uh, we just, we packed enough slices of bread for two meals, one at lunch and one at dinner, peanut butter and jelly, of course I, bought them a side of fries so they didn't have just peanut butter and jelly and they have an assortment of other snacks that we brought with them for the day um, but that's how we make Disney a little bit cheaper by packing lunches for them now these fries they're just kind of average fries do you have any thoughts on them do you have any more thoughts about the burger uh, it would have been nice to have some red onion on it I think that would have added to it, but um, otherwise, I, I mean, I thought it was pretty good. I mean, like I said, it's not my favorite thing, but I didn't hate it or anything. Like, 
um, you know, some of the food. Every now and then we come across an item that we're like, eh. The pastrami burger that Red Rose used to have was very, very good. As far as burgers go. I mean, you know, Disney only makes burgers so good, so well. In fact, I'm going to say this is really, really odd. But I think SeaWorld at Shipwreck Reef Cafe makes a better burger than Sometimes. Disney. If you can manage to get one of the ones that's just her made. Yeah. If you get one of the ones that's been sitting in the warmer for a bit, then no. So it's hit or miss at SeaWorld. But I think they have really, really juicy burgers and the cheese. Nice and melty and oh, I think they do a really good burger. Now, one place I haven't tried in Disney World that's supposed to be a good burger is Deluxe Burger. Oh, but deluxe burger. But that's like specialty yeah. burgers and things. We were trying to go there last time and our flight got delayed by three hours and we weren't able to go. Yeah. Disappointing that that happened. But um, there's a bee. Amy's freaking out about a bee. Here we go. See, I shooed the bee. Um, what was I saying? The bee interrupted me. Yeah, a deluxe burger. Um, but it's not really a you know a Disney burger, if you will. They're like in Disney Springs, and they're their own sort of chain thing. So as far as Disney burgers go, I haven't really seen too many great. Hungry Bears, before COVID, used to have some really great burgers because you could get like onion rings and things on your burger, and it was really, really good. Smoke jumpers. Mm. And DCA. Yeah. Um, I think even they've changed their menu, too, so. They have, and we checked Hungry Bear. I mean, they had a double cheeseburger, but they didn't have the, like, onion ring burger. So, yeah, I was kind of disappointed to see that on the menu, that they kind of, like, dumbed down all their burgers. Because I prefer the unique-type burgers. But this one was unique, and it had a good flavoring, so I'm not going to complain, but um, it could have been better. But before we end the video, I want to walk you around all the area here, show you a little bit more about Galactic Grill. So, uh, let's go on a little tour. Okay, so again, this is Galactic Grill from the outside here. They do have a bunch of seating over here off to the left. We're going to go up here real quickly. Looks like they've got loads and loads of silverware and napkins here. But this is the primary sitting area for Galactic Grill. They used to have a Star Wars show down there at that little platform. We're actually going to walk down this way at the moment, but there's loads and loads of seating. Because it looks like there's a nice little show over here. So if you were to come sit down in this front dining area, you might get to enjoy a little show while you eat. Which, they've got the whole marching band out here. There's a lot of them. For our time at Galactic Grill as the marching band plays Star Wars music to send us off. It was an okay meal. There are better places to eat for sure. Guaranteed better places to eat in Disneyland. Go eat somewhere else. Uh, unless you're like dead set on getting that Kylo Ren specialty item or something like that. Uh, or just go get the specialty item but still go see, eat somewhere else. I'm telling you, you'll, you'll love it. The reason why I've kind of left the area is because... Space Mountain is just a 20 minute wait and James really asked me to go. So we just came straight over here and now we're gonna ride Space Mountain. So if you wanna see that, you have to check out our blog to see everything that we're doing. And thanks for watching this review video. If you wanna see more videos like this one of Disneyland and other Southern California theme parks and attractions, hit the like and subscribe button and we will see you again next time.